Hello and welcome to Bella's Crafty Cards. I'm Bella. If you've been watching my last um, five tutorials, there were our making ATCs. Now I did say I was only going to make about four or five, but I was um, thinking about making um, a card for a friend of mine whose birthday it is um, and I was colouring in a stamped image ready in preparation to make the card um, and once I'd finished it in the colour scheme in fact I'll show it you there we have it once I'd finished colouring this in um, I actually thought it's a really, really nice stamp um, and the way the bubbles are coming out of the flute, um, I actually fell in love with it. So I stamped out some more um, and did a, another colour scheme and as you can see I've already cut it out but I've not coloured in the bubbles because I had an idea come to my head. So. What I'm going to do in this video is, I'm sorry to say, I'm going to be making yet another ATC, only because um, I actually adore that um, Tilda Magnolia stamp um, that I bought. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to make another ATC just to show you that you can use your stamped images on your ATCs as well. So I'll just bring in the image. There she is. I've thrown her all in reds and pinks um, and I've glittered up her wings. Uh, I just think she's adorable. I have cut away where the bubble was coming out of the, um, the flute, um, which I will explain why. Um, so I've got that. And I've got my pink cardstock. It's actually textured on one side and smooth on the other. And I've got here some stamped love hearts that I've done. Um, so I'm going to be using them as well. So I'm just going to put this card together. So first things first, what I'm going to do is, I do like this card, but I just think that it's not so much plain, but um, could do with a bit of jazzing up. So my scratch paper and my card stock. And what I've got here is um, a stamp of a swirl, which I've mounted onto my acrylic block. Now I've got my Versamark, my embossing pad, and I'm just going to line it up on that side, and then ink it up again, and I'm going to do it on that side like so, that's to one side, and here I've got some heating up holographic embossing powder, so I'm just going to turn my paper over, and I'm just going to sprinkle this on. making sure I cover it all well. Tap off the excess. And then I'm gonna heat it up. So before I do that, I'll just put this lot away. Okay, I'm just gonna heat this up now. There we go. 
there's that now. Don't know if you can see the sparkle on it. Bring it a little bit closer. Um, yep. So I'm going to bring in my stamped image. Get my glue. Now, yes, I am using um, a wet glue because I want to make sure that I've positioned her right so I have some movability. Okay. And then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to position her to the opposite side where I did the embossing. Make sure she's placed on and holding firmly. What I might do actually is I might just use my block just to make sure she's placed down. Like so. And then I'm just going to turn her over and I'm going to poor thing, I'm going to chop off her legs. Like so. So it looks, she looks like that. Now she's going to take a little bit of time to stick on to that embossing. Okay. Now, with these, um, I thought I'd do something different with them. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on. Make sure that the end of this, so the bottom of the heart, has got lots of glue on. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to push it where the flute is coming out of. So it looks like she's blowing love heart balloons or bubbles, whichever you wish. I'm put some glue on this one. So it looks like she's blowing lots and lots of them and they're flowing away. she is she's finished now if I did have my red gems um, which actually are buried over that side of the room somewhere um, I would have just put three little red gems there but there you go there's an ACT using your stamps so yeah don't forget you can use anything on an ACT so thank you very, very much for joining me and I hope to see you again soon.